Now let's bring in former White House Deputy Strategic Communications Director Roman Duravi, along with Washington Examiner, political and investigative reporter Sarah Bedford. Thank you both for coming on. Roman, to you first. I want to put up immigration because it's the number one topic, but I, I found this very interesting because Gallup asked the question, illegal immigration, the threat level, look at that, critical 55 percent, important 31 percent, 86 percent, almost nine in 10 say that immigration is critical or important. That that is significant. Absolutely. It goes to show that every state has now become a border state. And no matter what way you cut it, there's really only one reason for that. And it is Joe Biden's lack of policy when it comes mm -hmm. to the border. He has been weak from day one of his administration. He's not only cut back the Trump policies that helped keep our communities safe and help keep our borders secure, but now he's floating the idea that he might bring some of them back just in time for some of these primary elections. He's really yeah. uh, reading into the polls and knows that he needs to eat up on those numbers a bit or he's going to have a real problem come November. In my opinion, he's going to have that problem either way because the American people yeah. can see loud and clear that he has not cared about this issue. And quite literally, Americans are dying every single yeah. day at the hand of these illegal immigrants that are coming and into Sarah, our country. And Sarah, I want to get your take on this uh, Democratic rep. We talked about this with Brett Rashida Tlaib uh, saying that Michigan should vote uncommitted. The vote was 14, 14 and a half percent. Still a big number in a battleground state where you need every vote when 14 percent are willing to vote in uncommitted. That's a that's a warning for the Democrats. Yeah, Trace, it was a significant number of Democrats who showed up, who took the time to show up in this primary to vote uncommitted. It was more than 17,000 votes uh, this evening. That is greater than the margin that Hillary Clinton lost the election by in 2016. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Nikki Haley, by the way, Roma, I got to ask, Nikki Haley lost by 40. It looks like 40 right now. That's a big number. She says she's going through Super Tuesday. Is she going to make it? You know, Nikki is in this race for herself. The American people clearly do not want her as their candidate. So uh, regardless of whether she stays in the race or not, President Trump had a huge win tonight. He yeah. obviously is the, the leader of our party, and he's the obvious leader for Michigan. You know, one thing that President Trump mentioned in his speech tonight was the auto workers. And you hear a lot from the mainstream media about the Muslim vote that Biden is losing. He's also losing the vote of our auto workers. They do not feel supported by Joe Biden's policies or his posture towards them and the made in America manufacturing yeah. that is necessary and for that state. And I want to put this up because this is John Favreau, right? This is the former Obama advisor saying this on a podcast about Joe Biden. Watch and I'll get your final answer, Sarah. He sounds more frail than he used to, even in 2019 and 2020. Now, that may and I think doesn't have anything to do with how sharp he is mentally. But the voice sounds frail and he shuffles more because of the arthritis in his back. So for most people in the country who are just watching him be president, what do they see when they turn on the television? It's a great question, Sarah. What do they see when they're just watching him be, be president? What do they see? Well, to be frank, Trace, they see a president in decline. That's why Donald Trump's age, which is close on paper to Joe Biden's, is not an issue, while Biden's is. Donald Trump now is the same mm -hmm. Donald Trump of five years ago, of 10 years ago. The Joe Biden of today is noticeably less sharp than when he yeah. ran in 2020. And it's not really a fixable problem for the White House right now, because the more they put Joe Biden out there to try to rebut these claims that they're hiding the president away, yep. the more that Americans can see that his age really is yep. an issue. And so that's just such a liability for Democrats. And if there is a fix, we have not seen it. Sarah Bedford, Roma Duravi, thank you both.